Hey guys, my name is Jamin. This is my YouTube channel, PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of do it yourself computer upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reinstall the Chrome operating system onto a Chromebook. If you're here because your Chromebook's not working, it's not booting up, uh, I suggest you try to reset it or power wash it first. There'll be a video below in the description. I'll also include it here uh, on how to reset your Chromebook first. If you can't do that and it's still not working, then you can come back here and try to reinstall the operating system, but it's a little more involved. Uh, so that's why you should try the easier step first. Before we get going guys, a quick shout out to my sponsor who makes a lot of these videos possible. NiceHash. NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you is you can now rent out your computer's unused and idle power online to crypto miners and they pay you for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to put your computer to work without you working. It's a great way to make some side money. I'll explain a little more about them at the end of the video or you can click here for more information on NiceHash. So now let's get into the project. In order to install the Chrome OS onto a Chromebook, I'm going to be using this install media USB that I created myself for free off of a Google help page. If you want to see how you can create that USB yourself for free, you can click here to take you to that video. I'll also include the video link below in the description. And because the actual install process is so quick and so easy, I'm actually going to splice that video into the end of this video. So after I show you how to install it, I'm just going to have that video run after this showing you how to create this if you wanted to do that. So here I have the Chromebook that I'm going to be working on and as you can see the operating system on it is not working. It's, as you can see here it's giving me an error message the Chrome OS is missing or damaged. I've tried to factory reset, I've tried to power wash, none are working. Now I'm going to reinstall the operating system. So in addition to telling me the OS isn't operational this error message says please insert or recover a USB or an SD card. So I'm going to take my USB, I'm going to insert it into the USB port. The computer reads it as being inserted. This is telling me that it's about to initialize. It's telling me also to make sure my computer's plugged in. You don't want your computer running out of power during this process. So I've made sure my computer's plugged in and now it's automatically uh, accessing that install media and it's automatically recovering the OS. So now it's saying the recovery is in process and again reminding me it's gonna take a little while. Don't turn off the computer and make sure that it's plugged in. Okay, so now it says the system recovery is complete. It instructs us to remove the USB and the computer will restart. So now I'm gonna pull out the USB. And there we go. Now the Chromebook's working. You hit get started, choose a Wi-Fi network. It's as good as new. Now I'm just gonna start playing the video that I made earlier on how you can create this yourself for free if you're interested in doing that. But before I jump into that guys, if this was helpful, please like and share. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description first. It may save you some time getting an answer. Um, and if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer repair tutorials like this, please feel free to subscribe. And as promised, a few extra words on my sponsor, NiceHash. So as mentioned before guys, NiceHash, they're the world's largest hash power marketplace. And again, what that means for you is you can take your computer's unused and idle power, rent it out to people online who mine cryptocurrency, and they pay you for that in Bitcoin. It is a great way to earn some side money with no work. It's a great way to start investigating the world of crypto without really risking an investment. You already own your computer. Most of us own computers far more powerful than anything we need day to day. And that extra power just sits there not doing anything. So it's a great way to start investigating it. It's a great way to start dabbling with their one-stop shop for all things crypto, uh, the wallets, the exchanges, the research tools on other cryptos. Uh, you can even try their easy miner and try mining some crypto yourself. Uh, you can ask me any questions you want, leave any comments. You can check them out here for more information. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. And now, as stated before, I'll play the video on how to create that USB for free. But keep in mind, many of you will be on this screen right now, or you will have seen this screen recently. This is what happens when you try to start your Chromebook. You get a Chrome OS missing or damage error. Uh, these two pieces of information we'll need for later in this video. This link right there. Uh, as well as this model number for your computer. So we're going to open a web browser and then we're going to put in this address into our search bar. I'll have it on the screen if you want to type it out. I will also have it in the description so you can copy and paste it uh, to make it a little faster. 
After entering in that address, we'll hit enter. After getting to this Chromebook help page, the top portion of this will show you steps that hopefully you've already done. These are less invasive steps to try to recover your Chromebook. Uh, these will be detailed in previous videos. Perhaps you've already tried them, that's why you're here. If not, the links for those videos will be below in the description on, again, less invasive ways to recover your Chromebook. If these steps do not work, you'll have to come down here, recovery option two, use USB drive. That's what we're doing now. So step one, collect these devices. Uh, we have our Chromebook that's not working. Uh, we have a computer that we're on right now to create the install media USB. And we want a USB flash drive that can hold at least eight gigabytes of information and that you don't mind erasing. Keep in mind, uh, creating this install media will format the USB and that will delete all data on it. So we'll move on here, step two, we'll expand that. It says here we need to use install Chrome. We're already on a Chrome web browser, we're good. It wants us now to install the recovery extension, so we'll click on that. Chromebook recovery utility, add to Chrome, add extension. After it installs, you'll see this notice, Chromebook recovery utility has been added to Chrome, so we're good. Going back to our instructions, to open the recovery extension, at the top right of your browser window, click Extensions. We'll do that. Now we want to select the Chromebook Recovery Utility that should be displayed there. Step three, click Get Started. So we'll click on that. Step four, click Select the Model from List. So remember back when your Chromebook said Chrome OS is missing or damaged, we use the hyperlink to get us to this Chrome help page here. Underneath that hyperlink was a model number. That's where we would enter that in here. After I entered in that model number, it said found a match with the exact model name. We'll hit continue. Now I'll take my USB and put it into one of the USB ports on my laptop. After I've done that, it sees it, so I'll select it from the dropdown and I'll hit continue. And again, this is a warning message reminding us that everything on the recovery media or the USB will be deleted. So we'll hit create now. You'll get a notice here. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? We'll click on yes. I'm not sure if the recording software picked up that dialog box, but my screen went back to the home page and a, a dialog box popped up asking me if I wanted to allow it to make changes. I clicked on yes, and then it brought me here, but uh, sometimes the recording software doesn't see that. Okay, so success, your recovery media is ready. Uh, just so you guys are aware, this process took me about 15 minutes, uh, maybe a little more to uh, from start to finish to create this USB. Depending on the speed of your computer, it may be lower or greater. So I'm gonna click on done. And then as it says here, when you get a message that your recovery media is ready, remove the USB drive from the computer. Uh, so I've removed that and now we'll go over and insert it into our Chromebook. So that's how you would create install media USB for Chrome OS. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you don't see it there, please leave me a question. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Please remember to like and share if this video helped you guys out. If you enjoy tutorials like this, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.